Hey guys, welcome back to new video and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create live streaming app with the help of Zego Cloud live streaming UI kit. So Zego Cloud is a platform that give you a lot of UI kits that you can use it very easily in your Android apps. So here I'm going to use its live streaming UI kits and also Zego Cloud is a sponsor of this video. So make sure to watch this video till end. It will take only 10 to 12 lines of code for creating this live streaming app. So let's get started and first thing I want to show you the demo that we are going to create in this video. And there you go. You can see over here. This is my host. This uh, 2018 is a host and 1938 is our audience. So with the help of this simple trick, you can create your live streaming app. It's very easy. So I had created a project and in this project, the first thing which I'm going to do in here in our build.gradle, I'm going to enable my data binding because I'm going to use the power of data binding here sync your project and after that I'm going to create a main fragment that we're going to use in here so right click new go to fragment blank fragment and I'm going to call this fragment main fragment right so now it's time to design its layout so go to its layout and I'm going to copy paste the layout because layout is very simple so this is our layout and in this layout you're going to see we have to edit text and the id of edit text is username and user id and we have two button button start stream and button join stream okay so we're gonna use this and also i'm gonna convert this simple layout to data binding layout now go to your main fragment and here i'm gonna create a variable binding fragment main binding And I'm gonna initialize this binding in our on create view. Fragment main binding dot inflate. Pass your layout inflator and simply return here binding root. Okay. And we have on view created. So we're gonna use this particular function later. All right. Go to your activity main and here first thing you need to convert this layout into data binding layout and within this particular constraint layout we're gonna use fragment container view and i'm gonna give id to this is fragment container all right that's it for our main activity now in our main activity i'm gonna use support fragment manager begin transaction and i'm gonna add this particular fragment in our fragment container so the id is r dot id dot fragment container and our fragment is main fragment and simply commit it all right now in our main fragment we're gonna use here our two buttons if you remember so we have binding bt and join stream set on click listener and we have binding dot start stream set on click listener so we're gonna use these two all right so now it's it's a very good time to start with integrating the zego cloud live stream ui kit so in order to do that open the zego cloud documentation for android integration so here this is a link that is uh, given to you in the description box so click on that and you directly land on this page now here you gonna see integrate the stk heading and under it the first step is add this particular maven jetpack.io in your settings.cradle so go to your settings.cradle and simply add it okay now the next step is and if you are using the previous versions of gradle so you can add this particular line in your all project which is present in your here build dot gradle project level but in the upgraded version of gradle it is not there so you need to paste this thing in our settings dot gradle okay so this is something which is telling in this point all right now in our build dot gradle module app level i mean the module in which you're gonna use your live streaming ui kit you simply copy this particular dependency go to your project open your build dot gradle module app level and simply paste it over here and sync it all right syncing is done now the next step is go to your documentation you need to generate your app id and app signing so first go to zegocloud.com 
click on the sign up first you need to sign up yourself this kind of ui is open when you click on sign up sign up yourself and then open your console dashboard so i will put this link in the description so simply click on that and you will see this kind of ui so in my case i already created two projects but in your case you don't have any so click on this icon create your project here you need to choose which kind of service you want to use so in my case i'm going to use live streaming after selecting your live streaming click on the next button so step 2 is provide your project name so it is live streaming underscore 2 and on the bottom you need to choose either you want to choose ui kit or its sdk so i'm gonna choose its ui kit because it is very easy to integrate and play with it so i'm gonna click on start with ui kits it will take few moments to create your project so wait for it and yet after successfully created your project you will navigate to this screen and here you need to choose the platform so in my case it is android and yes on the bottom you need to click on this save and start to integrate and now it will give your credential the app id and the i sign that we're gonna use in our android projects so we already did this thing now the next step is to actually add the particular live streaming fragment on your fragment container so this function add fragment is used for that so i'm gonna copy this come back in our project and here in our main fragment i am simply paste it okay so the requirement of this thing is app id app sign in user id username okay so user id is coming from our binding dot user id text to a string all right and username is coming from binding username text dot to a string because these two things are the edit text okay now your app id is coming from your strings dot xml so you need to generate these two strings and paste your app id here and app sign in here okay so i'm gonna use these two so require context get a string r dot string dot app id and make sure to convert this thing in a form of long and next is our require context get a string r dot string dot app sign in cool so we have these four thing and the next is is host i mean if you are open the live live stream in a form of host then you can pass this is host is true so i'm gonna pass this thing in a form of parameter and remove this okay and in my case in my use case i'm gonna remove this live id and simply give a constant live id which is one two three four five it is up to you how you gonna use this particular live streaming ui kit so in my case i'm gonna make it constant one two three four five okay simply import this there you go and lastly we have fragment this fragment is created by zego ui kit pre-built live streaming fragment so it will generate a new instant of this fragment and i'm gonna use my uh, require activity support fragment manager and use my fragment container and simply replace that particular fragment which is already present to this fragment okay and it's done all right so now it's time to call this fragment so if you are join your stream so i'm gonna call is fragment and this time you are a audience so i'm gonna say this thing false basically you are not a host and next one is if you are a host then simply pass it true that's it this is all we need to do okay so now you need to put your app id and app sign in i'm gonna put in mine and simply execute this app in my physical device
so with the help of this simple trick you can create your live streaming app it's very easy as you can see it will take only 10 to 12 line of code and it's done so yeah this is all this in this video and if you like this video please subscribe this channel and follow me for more content okay that's all for this video thank you for watching this